Welcome to Abhipedia Mains question and answer discussion 2016. The question is, India is not yet ready for full capital account convertibility. Discuss the reasons and the recent trends in this regard. So could you throw light on what capital account convertibility is and the concept of partial and full? Okay. See sir, SS Tarapur committee basically invented this term capital account convertibility when RPI appointed this. So, uh, capital account convertibility basically means you should be able to take money from India mm -hmm. to any kind of foreign country and that should be, uh, you know, convertible. Mm -hmm. And from foreign country to India, vice versa. And that conversion is basically based upon nominal market rate, whatever is the exchange rate going on. Based upon that exchange rate, you are able to convert. Now here, capital account and current account, there are two basic accounts within the country. Capital account is basically created so that country is made safe from all the external sector shocks which can be there for the economy because of different types of investments coming in. See for example in capital account we have FDI, FII, QFJ, external commercial external borrowing, commercial borrowing. Yeah. sovereign debts, yeah, sovereign debts, depository receipts, even NRI remittances. Yeah, all external. And what about the NRI deposits? NRI deposits, yes. Is NRI part deposits of is a part of current account. Okay, right? okay. So uh, here in, in capital account, we just want to control the incoming and outgoing money. And FDI is still stable, but FII is a very hot money. So you need to be taking care of that. Especially after, I guess, 2008 financial crisis. Yeah. Yeah. So 2008 financial crisis, ke baad toh, even IMF says that you uh, Capital account ki convertibility hai, usko thoda limited terms mein rakhen, taaki economic destabilization na ho, hai na? To yahan pe question mein bolte hain, discuss the reasons and recent trends in this regard. So would you like to contribute to that? Sir, uh, in 1991 when liberalization took place, hmm. India was going through uh, uh, very uh, low forex reserves. Okay. Uh, it did not have reserves to even pay for three months of imports. Hmm. Then it was decided that hmm. uh, uh, current account would be made fully convertible so that it will allow import and export of essential, essential items. Okay. But when it came to capital account, hmm. uh, Tarapur committee highlighted the case of Thailand. Okay. Where when Thailand made the capital account fully convertible, okay. Thai baat depreciated by more than 50% in okay. a couple of weeks. Okay. Now that uh, resulted in a lot of macroeconomic uh, instability. Hmm. Thai baat depreciating. Mm. Imports becoming costly, mm. inflation rising, mm. uh, FDI, even FDI investors pulled out their money mm. because they, their businesses no longer remain viable there. True. FII's pulled out their money. So okay. from taking cues from that example, mm. India decided that India would delay mm. full capital account convertibility mm. but did go ahead with partial capital account mm. convertibility. Uh, sir, recently I heard executive director of uh, BIG Padmanabhan, he published a statement in Hindu newspaper. He said that now India should take final steps towards moving in, in a full capital account convertibility direction. I guess this uh, recent uh, demonetization of 500 and 1000 rupee notes will help in that. I uh, think three or four factors will contribute towards moving towards full capital account convertibility. First is fiscal consolidation. Right. If India can do that, then it's easier for us. Yeah. Second, inflation control. Yes. Yes. Third, low level of NPS. Yes. If you have no uh, non-performing assets in banks, your bank financial system is very strong. And then uh, you should have sustainable or low levels of current account deficit also, right, because mostly we put money from capital to current account. That diversion will stop. Yeah. Yes. We and should then, also strengthen financial market. Yes. Financial mm -hmm. markets will be very strengthened, and that will help. Mm -hmm. And I guess if these reforms, and they are at a high pace right now, these reforms can be completed in India, I guess we can move for capital account convertibility and that will help in uh, second wave of globalization for India because uh, I guess uh, there is no alternative to uh, you know integrating market system throughout the world today. With a 7.5 billion population rising, we will always be resource trapped or you know one of the else kind of trade, import, that will always be a necessary for every country. Sir, there was a rider by Tarapur committee too. Hmm. Uh, he said that though India could go ahead with full capital account convertibility, with hmm. if there is an improvement in the factors you mentioned, mm -hmm. but uh, China China's uh, growth has uh, given a reason okay. that India 
a country need not have full capital account convertibility yes. to promote development. Yes. So this debate, this question remains debatable. Yeah. I mean, you have to choose between development and more trade. Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Stop.